we're gonna tell you how to change the direction of your channel. And we're starting right now. What is going on? My name is Nick. Welcome to another video. If this is your first time here and you wanna learn how to grow your channel, make videos and all types of other YouTube related stuff, start now by subscribing and clicking the bell so you don't miss anything. Okay, today I am here with Tim Schmoyer from the YouTube channel Video Creators. And what I wanna talk about right now is changing the direction that you're going in your channel. So, you know, a lot of times people will get rolling on their channel and it's yeah. like, hey, you got something that works, it's going great, but yeah. maybe you don't feel that great about it. Maybe it's something that um, that you say, you know what, I, I started going this way, but you know, for whatever reason, it's just not, I'm not into it anymore. Yeah, totally. What, what, are, what are your recommendations for people that, that are wanting to change direction? I think first of all, like don't be afraid to change directions. I know it feels scary, it feels intimidating, it feels like, oh, I'm gonna lose everything, I worked so hard, I feel like I'm in this little box and I can't get out. I think it's totally fine and you need to actually evolve. One of the things I see among like the creators who have, who are doing it back in 2007, eight and nine are still successful today because most of them grew and then, yeah, the tank. But the ones who are still going are the ones who actually learn to pivot, who learn to reinvent themselves and still deliver the same value that they wanted to deliver, but in a different format, a different context, a different way, and really like really honing in on like, this is what my audience wants, but it doesn't have to be delivered the same way all the time. Number two, I would say it's, it's hardest when you're just like, You've always pitched yourself as subscribe to my channel because we're a vlogging channel or a gaming channel or beauty or whatever. Then you kind of like box yourself in a little bit. Yeah. I think it's better to grow your audience around a belief or a creed. Like we're about changing lives on my channel. Like this is what this is why, why I love YouTube because it's an opportunity to reach people and change their lives. So as long as I stick to that value, it doesn't matter if I'm doing a skit, if I'm doing a gaming video, if I'm doing a vlog, if I'm doing a stand-up, if I'm whatever, as long as it comes back to the audience, learn from the very beginning, we signed up not for a style or a genre, but for a belief, and that will grow a stronger community because the strongest communities always revolve around shared beliefs, not just like common interests. So if you're, especially if you're starting out, I would like start wrapping that channel around a belief or a creed because that gives you a lot of flexibility going forward in the future. Number three, if you've already like grown your channel and you're already stuck in like, I've been doing vlogging, but now I want to do this, I think it's okay to just shift yes like there will be a lot of unsubscribes and yes there will be people who are like what are you doing like i miss the old you and and make you feel really insecure about your decision but at the end of the day for you to keep creating and keep serving people reaching them changing their lives like you have to enjoy what you're doing and otherwise you're just gonna quit or your content's just your channel's gonna dive either way if you're not really into it so i think give yourself the freedom to make the pivot and then fourth i would say just communicate a lot like leading into it and do you mean do you mean communicate like with your with your audience a lot like yeah, basically like let them know the changes that you're going through and, and hey this is what i'm getting ready to do with the channel is that what you mean yeah making videos like guys this is what i think and these are just like community videos like just people for your audience and not intend to go big or sure. you know whatever this is just like guys this is what i've been thinking this is what i'm working on this is how i'm changing personally you know when i started this channel when i was um like a like a client of mine so i'm working they started when she, when she was 13 as a mm. beauty grew to over a million subscribers and now she's like i don't want to do beauty anymore I'm like 20 something and i'm more into like dating and i have a serious relationship i want to talk more about romance and stuff so she doesn't want to just keep going and doing like makeup she wants to talk about this other stuff she has to pivot and if she doesn't she's just going to quit creating and not serve people anymore so it's okay to do that yes yeah, so that's awesome so with your personal channel you're also going through some changes right now yes, in video creators I am right pivoting. So, so tell us a little bit about that and tell us what you're doing and, and why you're actually making those changes. So I have since 2007 been making training videos on how to grow an audience on YouTube. Five ways to get more clicks on your thumbnail, 10 ways to increase watch time, like all those, that type of stuff. And it's been great. Personally, I'm just kind of a little bit bored of doing that. And I'm glad there's people like you and others who are doing a great job at that. For me, I'm like, I want a new challenge. I've been doing this for a long time. I need to do something else. And the thing that I've really found is like the thing that I really want to dive into is how to tell stories that engage people and change their beliefs and like change their lives. Because you tell a good story that means something to someone, it's not just like I got information. It's like, oh, I actually need to do something with that information. So I've been spending two years studying storytelling. I hired a storytelling coach, going to storytelling workshops, reading storytelling books, and really trying to tell narratives that really encourage 
creators in how to grow as a creator, but not just like five tips, but showing that five tips in the context of like a greater story. So that was really hard to do, but because I built my brand around growing on YouTube to change lives, I can still make that switch and no one's gonna bat an eye, even though the style is gonna be completely, it's gonna be more like short film type stuff than you know, screen capture tutorials. Nice. So no one's, that pivot will be very natural for me because I built it around a belief and not just like a, a style. Right? Sure, sure. Yeah, like well, one of the things that I'm uh, in the process of practicing right now is um, learning the, the art of vlogging mm -hmm. so that I can do like what we do, but mix it into like a vlog style format. You know what I mean? Because yeah. I think that would be cool. And that's, you know, in our space, you know, there's nobody really doing that right now anyway mm -hmm. until this. But it's a scary thing yeah. because like you're saying before, if I make this change, then people are like, eh, then it's like, you know, like because things are going great. Yeah. Right, it's like, you know, you, you, you gotta be mindful of like, you know, well, if I do make this change, people don't respond to it, then of course I know, you know, that I, okay, well, maybe I need to do something else yeah. instead, but, um, but it's still, you know, even like knowing what you're doing, it's still right. a scary experience yeah. to go through. You're doing something smart and that you're thinking about that before it's too late. Yeah. Right, like yeah. don't wait for your channel to start going down and like start tanking and then you start thinking about, oh, right. like keep, get the momentum and then before you lose it, switch it up so the audience still stays interested and keep carrying that momentum forward so that's that's smart and good vlogging is really hard like yeah. that's, that's storytelling you're yeah. like you're telling a story about a character who wants something overcomes conflict to get it and experiences transformation as a result so that wrapped around a vlog is great but now you're not just telling your story like a good vlog is what you're telling your audience's story that has meaning to them and they're connecting with it which is what you're going to do a great job at i'm sure so yeah we'll see a lot of practice a lot of a lot of test lot videos of being made in the yeah. background you know what i mean yeah. so uh yeah so we'll see how it goes but you're like already introducing your audience to that concept just by talking about yeah. it now so that when it comes whenever it comes, like they're already like I, I remember that like yeah let's see that and they're gonna be sure. excited be some momentum you're like nick you're doing such a good job you know and so you're, you're doing it awesome well, thank you so much, Tim, for coming on. Yeah, so, yeah, um, of course, I'll have links to you, you know, all over the page. Um, but if people want to find out more about you, what it is that you are doing, where do they find out more about you? You go to youtube.com slash video creators, and we just help people like yourself grow on YouTube, not just for money, not just for views, not just for popularity. All those, all those are important. We see those as tools that you can ultimately use to reach people and impact their lives. And that's what you're all about. And so, if you guys want more of that, that's where I'm at. And if you want to learn more about growing your channel, making videos, and all types of other YouTube-related stuff, start now by hitting the round subscribe icon so you don't miss anything. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time.